this video we're going to be analyzing another recursive function that definitely has absolutely nothing whatsoever at all to do with the Fibonacci sequence and will be totally unrelated to the analysis therein. So if we look at this function we have two base cases one when n is equal to zero we return zero one when n is equal to one we return one and now we actually have some sort of looping structure happening here. If we look here we are looping and making recursive calls as we loop. So the cost of one run of this loop is t of i. So the total runtime for that entire for loop would be the sum from i equals 1 to n minus 1 of t of i, which we could write out as t of 1 plus t of 2 plus up until t of n minus 2 plus t of n minus 1. And then the cost of everything else is just constant. So my recurrence relation here is t of n is equal to constant for everything that's not recursive calls plus t of 1 plus t of 2 plus all the way up till t of n minus 2 plus t of n minus 1. This looks a lot like the Fibonacci sequence despite my lies I told earlier so let us try and bound it below and see what happens. I apologize. Before we start bounding it below, we need our base case. t of 0 is equal to c. So let's try and bound it below. t of n is greater than or equal to. I'm going to try to apply the reasoning I had at the end of the Fibonacci video, which is I can drop everything that isn't the two recursive calls. So I'm going to drop everything except for the last two recursive calls. t of n minus 2 plus t of n minus 1. I'm then going to keep the smaller of the two and replace the larger of the two with the smaller of the two. Which gives me t of n greater than or equal to 2 t of n minus 2. Now let us do some substitutions. t of n is greater than or equal to 2 times substitute in n minus 2 and we get 2 t of n minus 4 so t of n greater than or equal to 2 squared t of n minus 4 make another substitution t of n greater than or equal to 2 squared times 2 t of n minus 6 so t of n is greater than or equal to 2 cubed t of n minus 6. Maybe we notice the pattern which is t of n is greater than or equal to 2 to the k times t of n minus 2k. Let's double check that really quick. For k equals 1 we have 2 t of n minus 2. For k equals 2 we have 2 squared t of n minus 4. For k equals 3 we have 2 cubed uh, t of n minus 6 so it seems to check out. We're going to choose n minus 2k equal to our base case which was 0 and if we solve that for k we get k equals n over 2 so this is greater than or equal to 2 to the n over 2 times t of 0 which is c so t of n is in big omega of radical 2 raised to the n and this is an exponential lower bound. This is an exponential lower bound. By pure coincidence this just happened to be the same as the last one. You may get different exponential lower bounds as long as your bound is a number raised to the n it will be an exponential lower bound. 